Okay. Um, we want to thank you for coming. And this project is by Addie Rowland, Kobe Ballman, My Filer, Cal Callie Crawford, and Carly Menor. Okay. Natural disasters. How will White Oak respond? Our goal for this project was throughout the entire thing, no matter how difficult it was, was at the end of it to be able to complete this goal and have a plan for White Oak. The first step in dealing with a disaster is to categorize it. You know how to deal with it. You know the level of damage and what you need to do. So here's four levels of disaster so you can decide on how to respond. <clears throat> this is our plan for severe weather. It was made by all of us and it contains, you know, how to deal with hurricanes, tornadoes, earthquakes, and etc. All forms of severe weather. Also, we came up with a plan for hazardous chemical spills in the case that you know, we ever have a chemical spill or anything of that nature. This is the plan that we designed to take care of that for the, from evacuation to cleanup. In the event of a wildfire, we designed this plan also from evacuation and all things afterwards. This slide discusses where to go and then, you know, if we need to evacuate after a disaster. And this page discusses who to contact when we need to evacuate or need aid. This is a list of organizations that offer help and aid uh, to respond to disasters. And this is that list continued. And these are our sources. Thank you. Okay. This is the City of White Oak Emergency Plan by Colby Holloman, Callie Crawford, Carly McGuire, Addie Rowling, and my father. Um, these are the disasters we plan. We're uh, prepared for flood, wildfire, tornado, chemical spill, and earthquake. Possible disasters, tornado, flood, earthquake, chemical spill, and wildfires. Take these safety precautions after an emergency. One, check for injuries. Two, make sure your family is accounted for. Three, tell your family members who live out of town that everyone is okay. Four, find any lost items. And five, be careful. Emergency aid contacts, Feeding America, the American Red Cross, the Christian Disaster Response, and the Salvation Army. Places to go are Spring Hill, Longview, Pine Tree, Kilgore, and Gladewater. And this is the damage done by all the natural disasters. This is the damage done by an earthquake. This is from a chemical spill. This is from a wildfire. This is from a tornado. This is from a flood. And these are some things to find in the first aid kit. And we have our own little grabbing and to show you. Here's some things you need to keep in a kit at all times. Um, large adhesive pads. Some cotton balls and Q-tips. Band-aids. Gauze, cough drops, ibuprofen, a um, flashlight with good batteries that you check to make sure that they work. Scissors, ace bandages which can be used as tourniquets or slings, gloves, neosporin, money, thermometer, some bee sting pads, and some alcohol pads. And in here is a notebook and some pens that can be used for emergency phone numbers or if your kids are scared, that can give them something to take their mind off the disaster. <coughs> Any questions? I, I just got one, and I was going to ask them how we're going to put down. Have all those things on Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Where were you when you saw the phone? On the road. In the car. <laughs> <laughs> Better than all the road is not. <laughs> 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 